We're back this Friday. Team USA has to win its next World Cup game or it's all over. That's right. Today's nil-nil draw means Team USA is third in their group. It also means they must win, not draw against Iran on Tuesday to make it to the knockout round. KPRC 2's Joel Eisenbaum watched today's match with some local Team USA fans. And Joel, Houston is preparing to host those games for the 2026 World Cup as well. That's right. That's the next World Cup in 2026 or every four years. Pretty plum assignment, though, right? Boss is like, hey, Joel, on the clock, getting paid. I want you to go down to this bar and watch soccer. I'm like, yeah, I can do that. Can I put beers on the corporate card? And that was the end of that conversation. No, we haven't been drinking, but plenty of soccer fans have been drinking, and we spent hours and hours and hours with them to watch a soccer game where no goals were scored. The soccer organization predicted 5 billion people would watch the 2022 World Cup. And we found 50 of them. USA, baby! At this Heights Area Bar World Cup Soccer USA versus England Friday. We saw England fans, but they never came in. So, to the USA fans we go. USA! And we're here to support uh, USA right here at soccer. Going for it. We're going to win today. We're going to win today. Houston, of course, has a special interest in the World Cup. We're slated to host at least five games in 2026. That's the next one. And it will supposedly bring a billion dollars into Houston. That's way more than Super Bowl 51. Are we going to be ready for that? No other Canada city has hosted more major sporting events than we have since 2004. The USA played to a draw Friday, a tie that presents a must-win situation on Tuesday against Iran. For this group of fans, many of them soccer players themselves, they can't wait. Seeing how people are truly so passionate about the sport, the energy in the stadium, you can't help but be a fan. Yeah, had a good time with those folks this afternoon. It really is do or die for Team USA now. They must win against Iran on Tuesday to advance to the round of 16. We're live in the Greater Heights area. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News. All right, Joel, thank you, sir.